Hello artist. Today's artwork is inspired by a trip that I made to Tarpon Springs, a little town on the Gulf Coast of Florida that was settled by Greek sponge divers in the early 1900s. It is actually the sponge capital of the world. If you go there today, you can still see the sponge divers taking sponges off of their boats by on the dock side. You can also tour the little town, learn about their history, enjoy some wonderful food at the restaurant, and buy, of course, some little novel novelty trinkets. But today we're actually going to be painting a winter tree, and we're going to paint this winter tree with some sponges that we bought in Tarpon Springs. For supplies you're gonna need, this is an eight by 10 canvas panel, that I got at the Dollar Tree. Probably find these in different sizes there. You're gonna need different colors of paint. I have some black, a dark navy gray blue, a forest green, and some white. Of course, you'll need some different types of sponges, shaped sponges. See here, I have some different shapes. And some paint brushes and a foam brush. I have already painted the 8x10 canvas, and this is about three coats of paint. And what I used was some black and the navy and some white, and I mixed it up and made this blue-gray to give it more of a wintry mood. Our next step is we're going to paint our trunk. We're going to take our paintbrush and a little bit of black paint, and you're going to start at the top here. And just paint a line right down the middle of your canvas. It doesn't have to be a straight line because tree trunks are not straight. We're going to make it a little thicker towards the bottom. Next, you're going to take your dark green and squirt some of that on your palette. And this is going to be your first layer. And then you're going to take your sponge and just dip it into the paint. And then get some of the excess off on the side. And then you're going to just start at the bottom and work your way towards the top. And it's going to be a little bit bigger on the bottom. And as you work your way towards the top, you're going to get smaller and smaller. And this is an organic shape tree. Trees are organic shapes, and these sponges are organic and natural, so no two trees will look the same. They'll all look different. So you can just play with the shapes. And when I get towards the top, I want it to be a little smaller, so I have a smaller sponge. Got some color on there, take it off. You dip it. I'm going to do it a little bit smaller towards the top. All right, that's layer one. Okay, for our second layer, you want to lighten the green a little more. So I'm going to squirt some white in the darker green I just squirted and mix it in. And I'm going to make a lighter green. And if it's too light, I can go back and add more green, which is what I'm going to do. Keep mixing until you get that color. You don't want it to be pure green, but you don't want it to be super, super light just yet. All right, that looks good. You're going to start your second layer. Dip your sponge in there. You don't have to wash the sponge out. And we're going to build on top of what we just painted. And you don't have to wait for it to dry either. This is fun. You don't have to wait for anything to dry. And you just squish, squish with your sponge. And we fill it in more. Make it take a little bit longer. Get my smaller sponge. 
see, I'm going to go in a little bit more with the small sponge. Do the darker color first. All right, now I'm going to pick up that lighter color with the smaller sponge. You just keep building and building. All right, that's layer number two. Okay, for layer number three, you're going to add more white to your green. Mix it in. Should make it lighter. All right, and then do the same thing again. Get your sponge in. Get off some of your excess and build on top of what you've already painted. There you go. And then you can go back a little bit with the little one. Fill it in a little bit more. It's not looking thick enough for you. Add some more dimension to it. All right, one more layer to go. Okay, for our last layer, you're just gonna take a little bit of white and you're gonna use your paintbrush this time and just dab it in your white. And this is just gonna be like your snow. You're only gonna add a little bit in like it's snow sitting on your branches. Add your snow wherever you think there would be some snow. Kind of on the ends of your branches, towards the ends here. A little bit of snow in there. We're done. We created a beautiful winter tree with just paint and sponges. Wasn't that fun and easy? And we did it so fast. Well done today, artists. We made a beautiful winter tree with just sponges and acrylic paint. And remember, if you can imagine it, we can create it.